what is up my dudes my smelly little dudes i hope you're all well i've missed you guys i think long time no see it's been a long time since i filmed so i'm so happy to be filming again and be back with another video for you guys i hope you're all doing well like seriously so anyways today's video today i am going to be unboxing some stuff that i got from japan in the past two months i ordered them on japanese mercari they were sitting in a warehouse as i garnered and searched and collected all these little fun things that i will be unboxing today and then I had them ship it to me here in the US and yeah I do this pretty often I guess at this point I have a bunch of other Japanese online secondhand shopping videos on my channel I'll link them below maybe I'll put it up in the corner somewhere I don't know how to, all that stuff works whatever but yeah also forewarning I am sick right now I don't think it's a big one I'm praying it's not a big one fingers crossed but yeah I'm kind of sick and I was gonna wait until I'm feeling better and like you know, to film it, but I could use this pick-me-up of seeing all my little cute things that I got. So if I'm seeming a bit off, that's why. But yeah, it should be a good one. We have the pink scissors. I said that I'm getting rid of the pink scissors and yet they keep coming back. Anyways, pink scissors are here, my OGs, my road dogs, and I have this big old package from Japan that we are going to unbox. So let's open her up. I shipped it with FedEx. Oh, and also in the past, I've bought stuff from Japan and it never came to this day that was like a year and a half ago so shop at your own discretion I'm not advising you to do it I'm just showing you the things I got peace and love okay now let's open it Dun, 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 dun. So this is everything. It's all bubble wrapped up in this box. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna just place it on the floor and then I'll take out, oh my gosh, ah! Okay, sorry, I just saw something that I forgot I got. I'm just placing the block, the box, the blocks. What's going on, girl? I'm placing the box on the floor. I will take things out one by one and I'll show them to you. Also, I know you're gonna ask the prices and stuff. Don't really remember off the top of my head. I'll give a guesstimate for everything, but you have to pay for the items and the shipping separately. So the shipping on its own, that big box was $170 to ship from Japan to the US. And then the prices I'll say of the items were separate from the price I paid to ship it to the US. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, but let's get into it. I'm so excited. I don't know what I should start with. I'm gonna start with what I just saw and flipped out about, and that is a fruits magazine ah so cutie so cute i've been wanting to start getting fruits magazines and really just any magazine not any magazine but i wanted to start garnering a collection of magazines i think are cool because i think it would just be cool to have and to look at i eventually would like a coffee table where i could put my magazines or like a magazine rack or something but i don't have that yet and i don't have space for that here but eventually you know anyways i have been wanting a fruits magazine i saw this one it seemed pretty cool and i only paid ten dollars for it which is a pretty decent price fruits magazines can range in their price if you try to buy them here in the u.s on like ebay or depop or something they can be up to 50 to 100 dollars. so i thought this one was pretty cool so i picked it up and this is from 2003 i don't know what this says but here's the information on the year and stuff but I'm gonna take it out of the package and maybe flip through it when these were actually being sold you could see they were only being sold for 500 yen which is about five US dollars but yeah I'm gonna just look at it for a sec ah just so cool like shut up maybe I'll add close-ups of some of the pages I really like because there's quite a glare oh my this is just too cool. There's a ton for me to look through. Oh my gosh. Now I want so many more of these. This is my first one. It's in really great condition. Yeah. Ah, okay. Let's move on. I can't wait to look through that when I'm done filming. I'm not going in any specific order. I'm going to just take stuff that are on the top and open them. So next up, actually I don't want to open this. <laughs> I lied. Okay, this I want to open next. So this is a dress. It's this cable knit maxi length dress. Here it is. 
super long. Hopefully it reaches all the way down to my ankles. But if you could see, it has this like cable knit kind of diagonal all throughout. The whole dress is knit and it has like kind of a rolled hem at the top and by the sleeve and at the bottom. But I just thought this is so gorgeous. Like this is so gorgeous. I thought it would be maybe more slim fitting so it would like stretch to your shape when you put it on. But it looks kind of boxy now that I see it. So maybe it will just be like a very loose fitting drapey type of look. But either way, I just think this is the most beautiful thing ever. Like this is so cute. And I could layer something underneath some kind of long sleeve shirt or like a turtleneck. It's great in warmer weather like the summer because it's kind of a loose knit. It will still allow air to flow through and stuff. I don't think it will be super warm. It's just so cool and unique. I haven't really seen stuff like this for sale that I know of or like the places I shop. So yeah, it was I believe around $11 and I'm getting Birkenstock clogs eventually at some point, probably for like the spring and summer. And I think it would look so good paired with my Birkenstock clog slip-ons that I do not have, but this is my idea, okay? My vision. Birkenstock clogs, a messenger bag, this, like yas, like it's giving, like yas, we love her, we love her. And yeah, that's this dress. I can't wait to try it on. I'll try on everything I show. That's clothing, of course. And the next thing I have that I didn't want to open first, I'll open it now. It's a top by the same designer. I have a lot of Atsuro Toyama in my wardrobe and I really just like all of it. I think it's simple, but it has a really flattering cut, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards these days. More like simple styles or like a more mature look, but with like a flattering cut or like something kind of interesting about it, not like completely basic or boring. But yeah, so it's this top I got. This is a cowl neck, like it's gonna fold over and kind of bag. And it also, if you could see, it's not like a regular cut, it's asymmetrical. So when you put it on, it's supposed to ruche and then you'll have a cowl neck here. You'll see it when I try it on. Probably a bit hard to understand as it is like this. But yeah, I really love this dark like plum, almost red, but not really. It's more of a purple undertone color I think it will be really nice and I have a pair of Miss 60 jeans I think it would look good with as well just like simple warm fitting like a cool ruching cut like a cool look but yeah I have way too many shirts with graphics on them for a minute I basically only had shirts with like some kind of graphic or word or picture or something on them so now I can really appreciate a nice basic but elevated is that the definition of subversive basics I don't know but I don't want to say subversive basic because I just don't I'm over that word but maybe it is literally a subversive basic whatever okay 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 wait what oh okay wait okay yeah yeah, yeah. so next I got a plushie let me open it this is like packaged to the gods all right there she is <laughs> so cute I'm losing my mind over this. Like, I can't. Like, I can't. Okay, are you kidding me? Ah! So cute. I've been wanting a Miffy plush for so long. They sell them at the MoMA Design store here in New York City. They sell them at that store in Soho. But they were like $40 for like a decent sized one. That's not terrible. But I don't know. It wasn't the classic Miffy. It was like Miffy with a little dog. I don't want to pay $40 for something that isn't perfect. Like it's not exactly what I wanted. So I continued my search for Miffy plushies. I was looking on Depop and eBay for a while. None of them were really giving and then I looked on here and I found one I really liked that was a good price so here she is she's wearing a little blue dress with these little daisies on it I think that this is what she wore in the cartoon but this is such like the classic Miffy if you know you know like if you get it you get it I can't explain it but yes yeah, so she has a little collar it's just so cute and I love her so yes obviously she will be back here now with my other plushies I think it's 32 centimeters that's what the listing said but it looks a lot smaller than that honestly but i'm okay with that it doesn't need to be huge it has a little tag miffy amusement on here and i love it i love it i love it so much she's so soft and cutie i'll put her back here next thing i got Oof. okay i'm scared that this is gonna be too small but we'll see when i open it 
So I love the brand Avisu, which is also a Japanese brand. They do a lot of denim. I have three or four pairs of Avisu jeans and I love them. So I always look for Avisu stuff because I like Avisu. And I found this Sherpa thing because I've also been wanting a Sherpa. So it's like Avisu Sherpa. It just makes sense. So yeah, I got this Avisu Sherpa, but I don't know what size it says on the tag. It's a size 34, but I don't know what that means. On the listing, it said like small, medium. So so whatever I was just like okay either this fits or it doesn't like I don't know so I got it anyways and it looks like it'll fit but just probably not with like a hoodie underneath but that's fine it's pretty soft on the inside as well so I don't really need something else layered under it also it's so warm now that like I can't be layering as I once did maybe a month ago so yeah here's my little Avisu fleece I think it was around like 45 50 dollars I've seen these on not this exact print but I've seen the same style of fleece by Avisu listed on Depop at around like 200 so I thought that this was a decent price and it has a big logo here on the back which I love and if you can see it's like a fuzzy Sherpa material I think it would be cute with my Uggs just because of the brown hopefully it fits well and it doesn't look too small the sleeves do look a bit short though no I don't know but yeah thought it was cool I recently got a Stussy fleece but that was after getting this fleece but the Stussy fleece is very oversized and it also has a hood it's a different type of vibe but that fleece I think it's cute I think it's cute I like the brown tones the plaid yeah I don't know we'll see if not I guess I'll put it on my Depop but I don't know I'm kind of overselling on Depop as of late but also buy whatever I have listed on my Depop please I'm begging you don't have to, but I highly suggest it and recommend it unbiasedly. Anyways, next thing I got. Okay, I had to dig for this because I wanted to open this next because this is another thing. I'm like, is it going to fit me or is it going to be too small? And low key, it's looking like it might be too small, but my fingers are crossed because this is what I want the most out of everything I got. Okay. So, I got this. Oof, it looks kind of small. <laughs> But like, no, it'll work, it'll work, whatever. I got this 204 71120 Yoma little character crew neck. Ah! I've been wanting something with Hioma on it for so long. Not for so long, but I've been really, really, really getting into looking at all of 204's old collections, looking at their runway stuff, like the shoes and everything. But the stuff I love the most are the little Hioma character stuff. So he's just such a little cutie. Look at his little face. I don't think this is actually Hioma. I think it's one of like the characters, like one of his friends. But yeah, I finally was able to find a crew neck that was like a decent price. I think like usually they're around like 300 for a big Hioma print like this on a crew neck but this one was I want to say like 140 I paid for it and it has like the United Sports logo vintage and the Hioma tag added on. I love it. Like I just love it. I feel like if you're not really familiar with 204 you probably are just like why is this so great but look into it if you want. I love that brand a lot and I think it's really cool. I got another Hioma thing in this box as well that I'll unbox later and you'll see. But yeah, I'm so excited for this. It's not gonna be an oversized fit, I already know, but I'll settle at this point. I will settle. So yeah, I can't wait to wear that. Next, I got this Hysteric Glamour tote bag. Nothing crazy, honestly, just a tote bag. I really like this print by Hysteric, this like all over thing. It has a bunch of different logos all over. And I don't know what kind of material this is called, but it's like almost plastic. A lot of tote bags are made with this material. I honestly just picked this up because one of the other things I was trying to buy, someone else bought it. So then I had money in my account. So I was like, yeah, I might as well just use it and make something else up. And I found this and I thought it was super cute. It was about $30. I have a lot of Hysteric stuff. It's probably like half my wardrobe. Yeah, I used to always pick up a ton of hysteric stuff when I started shopping on like Japanese Mercari and stuff but I don't know I feel like I have way too much at this point I still love it and wear all of it but I'm not trying to really build my collection apart from a few like very specific items but I don't have anything with this print so I wanted to pick it up I thought it looks cool and now that I'm here in the city you always need a tote bag like you can't leave the 
the house without a tote bag. Or at least I can't because even if you don't have anything in it when you leave, as you walk along and collect things throughout your day, or maybe only I do that, but like places don't keep bags and you need somewhere to put it and da, da, da. So I feel like I can't have enough tote bags. All my other tote bags are kind of plain and boring as well. So I thought this one would be fun, especially for summer. I can just see it, you know, and it's like every color on it. So it will match with everything. And yeah, I love it. I love it. So there's that tote bag. Next we have more clothes, but I can't tell what this is from just like looking at the package outside. So we shall see. Okay, wait, I forgot. I actually have three things that are 204 in this haul. So this is what I'm actually the most excited about. I can't believe I forgot I got this, but like hold your horses, hold your horses for this one. Ah, look at how beautiful this is. Like shut up. It's 204 and it has this angel wing print on the back. Oh my gosh. And it's kind of velvety almost. And then on the bottom, there's the 204. This is honestly like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Am I overreacting? Yes, but it deserves this overreaction. Just so pretty. I can't wait to wear this, especially now that my hair is like short so you could see the back. Ah! I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. It's from the 90s, this design. So it's like 20 years old. So there is some cracking. I don't know if you could really see. There's some cracking, especially along the back part. The sleeves are okay, but yeah, I anticipated that because it's so old but other than that it's in pretty good condition oof there's like very slight bleach marks on the front, which I have no clue about, but like I will cut my losses. I only was able to find one more listing of this online, like in general, that sold and it was for like $300 it sold for, like three, 400. But I got this for 113, I think. You gotta love it. If you get it, you get it, but I can't wait to wear it. I'll probably style it with this diesel skirt I have that's gray. Yeah, I think that would look so cute. And yes, really good for spring as well, cause it's getting into weather where you could wear a short sleeve on its own. Okay, next I'm gonna open, I think this is maybe the last non-clothing item I got and I'm very excited to show you. So, I always love getting stuff with Gloomy Bear. I just love that Gloomy Bear character. I have three back here, all different colors. I have, I think some shirts, some other, paraphernalia that is gloomy bear like a little keychain whatever but i don't have any standing figurines of it and i don't really have many standing figurines in general at my old house where i used to live i didn't really have a place to put it but now that i'm in my apartment i was thinking of getting some clear acrylic shelves and just displaying all my small like plushy keychains and standing figurines which i can now get so i got some and these are the gloomy bear ones as you can see i didn't even take a good look at it but this one is gloomy bear and this is like a thing you could stand it on so it stands up and then the joints move on this and it also has a muzzle that you can put on him so that he doesn't kill his owner as shown in the back so super cute and then they came together one person was selling both of these and it was i want to say like 15 dollars for the two of them which is such a good deal but i also got one with pity which is his owner and then gloomy bear a small smaller one in a box. He's gonna be in the box. And then Pity is standing so I can stand the Gloomy Bear and the Pity together next to each other. I'm so excited for that. And it also has a little baby bottle because he's a baby. And here you can see like how they're supposed to look when they're actually standing and assembled. So yeah, these were never really released as like a for sale item. They were only in I think like a prize machine or something in Japan. So they never were officially for sale but I guess this person won them as a prize. And they were already used like they've been Open. They just taped the box closed. I will take them out of the box for sure. Uh, probably not now because it's gonna take a minute for me to figure out how to assemble it, but I'll post pictures somewhere, probably on Instagram once I do. But yes, I'm so excited. And now I have motivation to actually get the shelves because I kept saying like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get shelves and I'm gonna put stuff on it. But now I have something to put on the shelves. I just need to get the shelves. So yeah, very excited for those cuties. It was super cheap, like such a good price but they took up like half the box. So I probably ended up paying around $40 for them, factoring in how much space they took to ship, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, next up. 
I got another hysteric thing. This is the only other hysteric that I got. And I got it because it has like a character on it and like a print that I also really been wanting from hysteric. So I figured I'd pick it up because I found it for like a decent price. It's the hysteric fuck bear. It just says like fuck off and hysteric throughout. And then it has a little bear. And it's like a little pointel knit type situation going on. And I think it's mohair. It's like super fuzzy. And yeah, it's just a button front cardigan. It will probably end up being like three four sleeves although i don't think it was supposed to be but i'm tall i have long arms we know this but yeah super cute and it's grunge pops i love hysteric grunge pop stuff it's just like the cream of the crop like Come on. I don't really know how I'm gonna style it. I think that this is a very, I don't know, it's very feminine. This shape and even the little pointel cutout type situation, very feminine, which is not really how I dress on the day to day, but I guess it would be cute with like a skirt. It definitely has to be worn like fully buttoned, I think. I don't know, maybe with like jeans, I guess, but I feel like that wouldn't really give, I don't even know. But yeah, it's new with the tags still attached. And originally it was 19,800. 100 yen. I don't know if you could even see that, but that translates to about 200 US dollars and I got it for 40 I want to say so yeah pretty good I feel like if I were to find it on Depop or something it would at least be like 150 So I think it's a good price I paid but yeah I really just wanted this character and like the all-over print because I have a big buck bear tank top But I wanted the small all-over print and it also came with a little pin I didn't even know about that, but it came with a little pin on the tag, which is a nice little bonus I'll probably put the pin on the tote bag but yeah, love that, love that. Okay, a couple things left, two of which are bags. One of the bags are this one, which is actually the first thing I got because I have been looking for this damn bag before I even knew who designed it, before I even knew about it. Maybe like two years ago I saw it and I was like, wow, this is gorgeous. I think I came across it on Grail and I was just like, wow, this is cute. But at the time I didn't really carry bags or purses like that. So I kind of was just like, oh, this is cute. And I like it. Now it has since like blown the heck up and I have witnessed them become increasingly harder to find and I regret not buying it two years ago when I first saw it because it was so much cheaper and it was like exactly the one I would have wanted now but I didn't know then what I know now but now I know what I know now you know <laughs> so I'll show it to you and then talk more about it it's the MFG, Maurice Francois Gerbeau, I think is how you say it, polka chew bag. And it's just black. It has a bunch of these little pockets which are functional. You can put all types of stuff in these. I guess only the bottom ones are functional. I know in the tote bag version, I think they're all functional, but I'm not really sure. But I really wanted the tote bag version of this. That's the one I've really seen everywhere. And in general, I never seen this kind of bag, the backpack for sale before, but I I saw the tote bag and I fell in love with it and it kind of always just lived rent free in my brain and then I was like okay I'm ready to pay a solid like up to 200 for it if I can find it but I can't find it and the ones I find actually I can't find it like I cannot find it period I think I saw one taking offers like starting at 400 and I was like okay I hate you I almost bought one from Japan another time and someone bought it before me and I was so upset but I was able to find a backpack and as soon as I saw it I was like, okay, this is as close as I'm gonna get to this bag, like, ever. So I gotta just buy the backpack. And at first I was like, mm, but will I really wear the backpack? But now I'm thinking about it a bit more. And yeah, I think I'll get great use out of the backpack. It's not super big, as you can see. It's like a pretty small size. And I think in the summer, just like walking around, throw this on my back, it's perfect. I won't have to worry about it or anything. And I quite like how the backpack straps look, like, from the front. I think it's cute and I like that it looks a bit like a turtle shell on my back. I got it for I think around 70 or 75. Since finding out that they made a backpack version, I looked it up and I found some that went on Grail for like 250. But yeah, I don't know. I don't plan on reselling it, at least not for now. But yep, it has a little pocket here. These are just like filled puffer and then these bottom pockets do work, which is cool. Here's how the inside looks. It's a drawstring backpack, which I'm not 
not a fan of. I prefer like a zipper, but I do think the drawstring works a lot better for the style of bag it is. Interested to see how I'll style this, but I'm confident that I will be able to get great use out of it. Even like hiking, girl, I don't hike. Like I don't even hike, why did I say that? But if I did hike this with some Salomon, some hiking shorts, a tank top, that's kind of a look. Maybe I should start going hiking, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, love this bag so much. This is the first thing I ordered because I saw it and I was like, I need to get it. And then I just ended up getting other stuff, obviously, as you can see. Okay, next up, I honestly am not sure about this. I don't know why I got it. I was like going through a phase. It's this vintage Morgan de Troyes Pointel heart cropped cardigan. This is not me. Like it's cute as heck. This is literally so cute. I don't know if you could see like the heart cut out and I think these are like satin buttons. So cute, but like it's just not me. For a while I tried to force myself in a way or like push myself to get into the girly super femme style, but it's just not me. Like it's just not me. When I try to wear some of those stuff, I just feel like I'm wearing a costume or playing dress up and this is one of those things. But I watched Mina Lee's video about ballet core and the resurgence of ballet core and I was like, wait, I need this. Wait, wait. So yeah, I bought it literally because of her. It's just so cute and dainty and I feel like with those Mew Mew ballet flats or like any kind of ballet flat, rapettos, I don't know. And like maybe a pleated skirt or like one of those wrap skirts and like tights and leg warmers and a little cami underneath. But like, I don't wear that. I don't wear that. I cannot see myself wearing that. I would not wear that out. Maybe I'd wear it in like a little picture in a TikTok or something, but I don't dress like that. Like that's not me, but it's cute. We can't deny that it's cute and it's serving and it's giving ballet. I don't know, maybe it will be on my Depop. So if it's on my Depop, that's why. But I don't know, maybe it will fit me really well and then I'll end up wearing it a ton. I don't know, I don't know, we will see. Next up, this is the last Kioma thing I got. But it's the first Ioma thing I got. This one is so cute. It's Ioma and his friend and they're parachuting. What is this? Yeah, they're using a parachute. They're skydiving. So it's just them in the cloud. Super cute. Super cute. It's just like a t-shirt. I haven't really been in the graphic tee game as much as I have in the past because I have too many damn graphic tees and like I just don't wear them, but I love to collect them and look at them. I do wear them, I guess, but in the summer, in the winter, I don't really reach for them. So I guess that's why I feel like I don't really wear them, but I'll definitely be thankful I have this in the summer. Just super cute. It's just cute. It's just cute. Honestly, for me to want to buy something, it just has to be cute at the end of the day. That is my core value, being cute. The graphics is cracking here and there, but I'm pretty sure all 204 stuff at this point is cracking. Anvil tag, little Hioma tag. Cool, awesome, good. Anything that's a reasonable price with Hioma on it, you can sell it to me. I am buying. The shirt was like 60 US, which is a pretty good price compared to the 200 that I've seen on like Depop and Grail. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'd find one for like 140 and it would be like a weird graphic but that one is a super cute graphic has eom on it and it was a good price so yeah i bought it i got one more clothing piece and i got a bag but i'm gonna show you the bag first because you guys are gonna lose it first of all when i bought this bag i did not think it would be this big i thought it was like a mini bag satchel type of moment So it's this big ass Vivian Westwood bowler style bag. One of these moments, one of these moments even. I feel like that's a lot, but like maybe like one of these moments, like carrying the bag here, maybe put a dog in there. But yeah, I got this little, not little actually, this sizable Vivian Westwood bowler bag, not bowler bag, Boston bag with the big flashy gold logo on it. Tacky, I love it, I love it. It's brown and tan. I always love looking for a Vivian bag. The two that I have, I wear all the time. I don't know, I'm not really like a designer bag person per se. Actually, maybe that's a lie. I like the way that that sounds to say, I'm not really into designer bags. I was gonna say like, I'm not like a Louis Vuitton designer bag person, but I literally have, I have one vintage Louis Vuitton bag and I don't even carry it that much. But I don't think I'd buy any more bags from Louis Vuitton or like any modern designer bags. The only designer bag on my list is a Balenciaga City bag. Maybe when I'm 30, 
I could see myself buying that, but like other than that, not really my vibe. But this, this is my vibe. Pretty big inside, honestly. It can hold a ton of stuff, which I'm excited about. I thought it would be like half the size, like this. But I'm glad it's sizable because I always have a bunch of crap to carry around with me. Has some pockets inside, also has like little Vivian Westwood Orb logo. And yeah, I thought it was super cute. I know that this bag or like this kind of style of bag is in a messenger bag as well with the big gold logo. And ideally, that's what I would have wanted. But like, I cannot find it anywhere for the life of me. So I came across this and I was like, this is cute. Like, this is cute. Then I got it. I believe I paid $132 for it up front, but then they charged additional shipping for it, which was like another $15. So it ended up being probably around $150, which really isn't bad for like a Vivian bag, especially not a bag of this size. I was thinking of getting another Telfar, but I feel like this was a better investment because I already have two Telfars and they're very much the same. The only thing different about them is the color. I just feel like at this point, if I'm gonna spend over $100 for a bag, it should be something reasonably different to anything else I have because it just makes sense. Or at least that's how I'm rationalizing it. Whatever. And then the last thing I got is kind of just a whatever thing, but it's also by Atsuro Tayama. But this here is a vest. And this one is brand new with tags. And I thought it was pretty cool. It has a nice hood and the hood has Velcro on it. You could Velcro it and it will be covering part of your face, which I think is cool. Kind of like a balaclava moment. Do we see it? Do we see the vibe? I just thought it was kind of cool, kind of tech wear, kind of gorp even. I should shut up before people bully me and say I don't know what I'm talking about. But I do know what I'm talking about. And it has these hoggles on the hood as well. And the real reason I got it is because the hood itself is detachable. I don't want to detach it all the way because I want to try it on with the hood. But the hood itself is detachable. So like in the summer, I could just wear the hood with this Velcro and all this like cool features. Honestly, I didn't really buy it for the vest part because I have other tan vests. Vest, but none of them are really like this so I will definitely get good wear out of the vest but the hood detachable hood I could wear it with literally anything and I think it will be so fun and cool to style and it was $30 I think which is not bad for Ezra Chayama at all especially not brand new so yeah I'm a fan also it has a pocket in the back it's just super cool bunch of pockets on the front hidden pocket on the back removable hood all of the bells and whistles we love it I'm eyeing these brown Solomons I'm hoping they go back and stock retail but I might have to cave and buy them resell but like they're already so expensive retail the brown Solomons would look so good with the vest so yeah that's just something I have to think about and ponder and that's it that's everything I got from Japan a lot of it is for more like spring summer because even though I bought it in the middle of winter I knew I wouldn't get it until it started to get warmer which it has which I'm so excited about and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got I'll link the other Japan unboxings down below. So go check them out if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, peace and love. Stay safe, stay well, stay swell. I know I haven't been consistent, but I already explained why. It's because of like school stuff. So thank you for understanding and sticking around. I seriously appreciate it. And if you want to know when I post my next video, subscribe. Stay a while. It's free. But if not, that's cool too. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.